welcome to the next episode in our running video series. My name is Jim Willett and I'm an MEC ambassador. Today we're going to talk about running to race. Eventually most runners will decide to sign up for a race in order to challenge themselves. It's not only a great opportunity to test yourself, but you'll have some fun in a social environment and setting. But before you decide to sign up for that race, there's probably a few things you should know. Depending on the race distance you plan to run, training involves several weeks or months of preparation. Shorter races like 5K can be done with as little as four to six weeks of training. Six to 10 weeks are suggested for a 10K, and those wishing to run a half marathon should consider at least 12 weeks of preparation. As was discussed in our prior videos, training often involves a number of different run types. Long runs for endurance, intervals and repeats for speed, hills and tempo for strength, cross training to stay healthy. Most of the training you do, however, should be easy and run at a conversational pace. Being consistent and staying healthy in the long term is absolutely key. Now there's no shortage of races out there to choose from, but it's really important that you find the race that's best suited for you. Races vary in terms of size. Some have tens of thousands of participants, while others have just a few hundred. Smaller events are often less intimidating and offer a less stressful experience. Big races offer plenty of excitement and camaraderie, but can be overwhelming and require extra time and attention to race day planning. Reflect back on your training. Think about how it went. Now set some clear goals as to what you'd like to accomplish. Maybe it's just to finish for the first time. Perhaps you'd like to improve on a previous experience. Set a number of goals and be flexible about achieving them. Break the race down into smaller, manageable sections into halves, quarters, or even individual kilometers. There are also a few key things you should do in the days and weeks leading up to your race. Reduce the overall amount of running you do one to two weeks before the race. This is called tapering and allows the body to rest and recover from past training. Carbo loading is also important for those running races lasting longer than 75 minutes and especially the half and full marathon. In the two to three days before the race, eat a higher overall percentage of carbohydrates as part of your diet. As long as you don't overindulge, eating lots of carbs ensures your body has the maximum amount of stored energy which you'll use on race day. Staying well hydrated by drinking plenty of water is also important. Do this the entire week leading up to the race. And once race day arrives, it's important to have a plan. You should aim to arrive a bit early in order to pick up your bib, get ready, warm up and line up at the start of the race. Pacing yourself is very important. Many runners start too fast only to slow down later on and in some cases not finish. Try to start slower than you know you can. Use the first few kilometers to ease into a comfortable pace and rhythm. If you can, try to pick up your pace in the second half and finish fast and strong. After you cross that finish line, it's time to celebrate your accomplishment. You've just done what few runners and even fewer people will ever do. Be sure to take some time to rest and recover after your race. Refuel, hydrate, and perhaps consider a massage if you're feeling sore. MEC stores across Canada now offer exceptionally organized events that cater to all runners at an excellent price point. MEC events offer a distance for everyone from 5K all the way up to a full marathon. Uh, what really gets me out here, of course, is the lovely people over there. Uh, I've been running with an MEC group for about six, eight months now. And uh, that's really what it's about, is uh, hanging out with a bunch of good people that have uh, you know, a common goal, and that's to get outside and get in shape and make better people of themselves. And now that you've finished, you may be thinking, what's next? Remember that one of the best ways to stay motivated is to sign up for another race.